Jank Odo moment. And then down, and then to the right again, and then up, and voila, yeah, Broly, nice, the gym waiter. Let's talk to him. I'm Broly, the Fritz gym waiter. I've been churned in the rough waves of these parts, and I've grown tough in the pitch black cave. So you wanted to challenge me, let's see what you're made of. Yeah, Broly's kind of like a surfer dude, he's like chill and laid back, I guess. Which is cool for a gym waiter personality. You know, no one wants to be too serious all the time, because that's just crazy. Yeah, he has my shop at level 17. Awesome. Let's go for the supersonic. Let's see if we can confuse it. Okay, supersonic hits. Now, supersonic, again, doesn't have the best accuracy, so that's why I was missing four times in the first battle of this gym, basically. So, yeah, okay, it, it hits self confusion. Awesome. Let's go for the poison thing. Hopefully, we can get that poison hack, you know, get it poisoned. <laughs> Snap that confusion of great, great, great. That's awesome. And seismic toss will always do the equivalent, the amount, the HP equivalent to the Pokemon's level. So, for example, that my chop is level 17, so it did 17 uh, da HP worth of damage on Metroid, because you know 45 minus 17 is 28. So, there you go. Your little math lesson for the day. Haha. <laughs> Even though it's just simple subtraction. Yeah. A uh, karate chop, all oh, critical hit, of course. So, well, he's got the poison on it. Poor Metroid. I'm gonna switch to Fighter then. Yeah. Now, I'm gonna use Vital Thrill, which I think does 70 base power, but it never misses. But it always, you always go second when you use the move. But it never misses, and it's like 70 base power, I believe. So, this gives bulk up. That's not good. It's gonna use its attack and defense stat so that's great for you i guess bro but not for me hopefully this vital throw knocks it out nope it doesn't but uh, uh the poison might even not knock it out yeah i knew it was good it was gonna survive by a little bit i could use tackle on this thing no you guys use super potion of course of course bro you just always have to be a pain in the butt although it was in the red zone for hp so it's I, i'm not really surprised that much that you know bro decided to heal there but you know we're one level higher than this thing, so that's good. And it goes with the seismic toss again, or on a fighter at least, my Makita. I'm gonna hopefully finish it with another vital throw. Hopefully the poison will help finish it off. Of course, the karate chop. Jeez. You're knocking out my Pokemon off and right. I can't even get past them a chop, and he's already fainted two of my Pokemon. Well, that's, that ends now, because I'm gonna use quick attack. Of course, you're gonna use a super potion. You're just afraid that I'm eventually going to beat you. Jeez. Okay, fine, we'll go for the Bolt Seed. It's, uh, but I always do a decent amount of damage. Yeah, there we go. If it hits five times, that'd be awesome. I jinxed it, don't hit twice. You better you better be done with using Super Potions, bro. I'm, I'm starting to get a little worried. Because I have uh, three of six goons, basically. One's level 18, but still. They're not, <laughs> okay, it's your fighting type Pokemon, I don't think they stand a chance that, so, I'm gonna hope that that's your last super potion that you use. Cause the real third hasn't even appeared in the battle yet, jeez. There goes the Machop at least, that's good. Took three of my Pokemon to defeat one of his, so that's not good odds. You got cousin level 19 though, so that's awesome. And Makita will stay in, yeah, it's the best bet to stay in. So Makita's level 18, okay, so that's awesome. Let's go for the bolt seed, I guess. This might be hard. Uh, you know, the rest of the battle just deter just is basically based on luck. Because I'm using bolt seed, it, it can hit two to five times. Um, or it will hit two to five times, and I got I think it hit three times right there, so that's awesome. Oh, and his it's his moves are also luck based too because. He may not have reversal, the move reversal on his Makita in this game, and we've been set fire, but I know he does an Emerald, so. Yeah, Arm Thrust always hits twi two or three more times, three or two or three times. Oh no, this is bad. Okay, before I faint, I'm gonna actually use uh, one of some of my own super potions. Because if I, if, Ge if Geico faints, you know, it's really, it's a bad situation. There we go, nice. Okay, this stupid Makahita needs to go faint. Okay, there we go. Fine. Fine. Let's go for the quick attack. 
knock off. Okay, it's gonna knock off uh, Geico's Miracle Seed, but that's okay. I'm using Quick Attack anyway. Please faint. Okay, thank you for the Quick Hit. That could've been really bad if I didn't get Quick Hit there. It could've been, I don't know. But it looks like we could've fainted it without the Quick Hit, but you never know. We defeated Brawl. Okay, yeah, he's a tough, he, he is a tough cookie. He is a tough gym leader, honestly. If you want to have an easy time with this gym, I went from Trigger Kermit's Emerald video when he was doing a Pokemon bio on uh, the, the Pokemon Sableye, which is I think a I think an Emerald, you can only catch it in Emerald, uh, in the Granite Cave, at least the basement floor, where it's uh, where you find like the Everstone and all that. Um, that's, they're Ghost and Dark types, so like none of, uh, I think all, yeah, Sableye basically it doesn't isn't affected at all by uh, normal or fighting type moves because it's ghost for the normal and then fi uh, dark for the um I guess ghost for the normal and the fighting type moves so if you want to have an easy time with this gym battle at least in emerald I believe you can just catch your save boy but I went the hard way because I wanted the experience for my Pokemon and stuff so yeah there's my little spiel sorry for talking so long okay about that but I wanted to explain it Whoa, wow, you made, you made a much bigger splash than I expected. Thanks, man, you swamped me. Okay, you got me. Take this gym badge. We got the... Thanks for the 1800 Poké Dollars, probably. And after the battle, everything turns to, um, light. When darkness turns to light, it ends tonight. Oh, man. I might get copyright claim for that. I don't know. Uh, it's okay. It's whatever. I just wanted to sing that song. It's one of my favorite songs at the moment. And it probably will be one of my favorite songs of all time. Because it's a good song. I think the Great American Rejects sings it or something. I forget. <laughs> the Knuckle Bags makes all Pokemon up to level 30. Even those you got in, a tra in trades obey without question. And you'll be able to use the HM move Flash outside of battle. If you'd like, use this technical machine too. We get TMO8, which is bulk up, which raises the attack and defense stats stages by one. Cool. That is TMO8 contains bulk up. It contains moves that um, it contains a move that raises both attack and defense stats. Now technically, you could skip Raleigh and not get his and not get the knuckle badge and just and just continue on with the game. But if you want to, you know, of course, battle the Pokemon League in the Elite Four. Um, you want to be broad because technically I showed in the last part how you can get through Granite Cave without even using Flash Because I've done that puzzle so many times before It's like I know it by the back of my hand basically <laughs> Well not basically I just know it you know Here's the, let's talk to the Vescovic again. Whoa it turned too bright in here. Your future is bright too. Thanks man Do for town Pokemon Gym uh, Broadway certified trainer Steven. Awesome <laughs> 